Hey, what is going on guys? It's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS5 tutorial. So in this one, I'm going to be giving you guys a full guide on how to set up the PS5 jailbreak on firmware 4.51 or lower, which is the latest jailbreak that's available for the PS5 right now. So the first thing we want to do here, once you get your PS5 booted up, is head into the settings and you want to go to network and make sure you go to settings and disconnect from the internet. So make sure the connect to internet box is unchecked. You want to do that first of all. We then want to head down to system and go to system software and system software update and settings. In here, you want to disable the download update files automatically and install update files automatically right here. These will be enabled by default normally, so make sure those are unchecked because we don't want to accidentally install any system software updates that would patch the jailbreak. Now, you should also check to make sure you don't have any system updates currently being downloaded or that have downloaded and are waiting to be installed, you can do that by pressing the PS button and heading to the download section and then checking to see if there's any system software updates that are in there. If there are, make sure you cancel and delete those to make sure there's absolutely no system software updates that are trying to be installed. So once you've done this, we can then head back with Circle and go to console information. And in here, we're gonna check to see if you can actually jailbreak your PS5. So we're going to check our system software version right here. So mine says 21.02 and then dash 04.03. So the number after the dash is what we're interested in. So in my case, that is the 04.03. That means I'm on firmware 4.03, which is a jailbreakable firmware. So the current firmwares that can be jailbroken right now are 3.0, 3.10, 3.20, 3.21, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0, 4.0,
www.sitesite.site. It should be the top link here. It should take us to the website and that will get us onto the exploit page here. This is an indexing site that indexes a bunch of exploits for the PS4 and PS5. We're going to select the PS5 option here on the right and then select the idle sauce host. And then we have the option here to run the jailbreak. Now we only need to use this in the user guide once just to load the jailbreak for the first time. After that, we can do a different method for loading the jailbreak. We're going to run the jailbreak. It should detect your firmware here. You can see it says 4.03. So that is a jailbreakable firmware. It will probably tell you if you're on a firmware that's not jailbreakable. So you can see we've got this not enough free system memory error. This happens when the browser crashes when trying to load the exploit. It's not a big deal. You can just click OK. It should refresh the page. And then you can just click jailbreak again and let it keep going. So just keep clicking OK every time you get one of those out of memory errors. And we're waiting for it to hopefully jailbreak successfully. There we go. That was successful. We managed to get the jailbreak up and running there. Now, sometimes it will crash the PS5. So the PS5 will just switch itself off suddenly or it might get frozen for a few seconds and then turn itself off. If that happens, don't freak out too much. It's just a kernel panic. It's quite normal. Uh, when running the jailbreak, it doesn't work perfectly every single time. So you'll just have to uh, hit the power button twice once it turns off uh, in order to turn it back on. And then it, it will take a bit longer to boot up the next time because it will do a little safe mode check and then it will boot you back onto the home screen. And then you can just try and run it again, go through the same steps we just did in the user guide to get back onto this page and try and run it a second time. And keep doing that until it eventually loads successfully like this. So once you actually see the payloads that you can select, you know that it has ran successfully. Okay, so we're going to run the ETA hen payload, which is kind of the main jailbreak payload for the PS5 right now. So we're going to run that option and let that get up and running. It can sometimes crash when loading this payload as well. But as you can see, we've got it up and running right there. So now we have the jailbreak up and running. So obviously it's not ideal having to use the user guide every time to load the jailbreak. So we're going to set up a different method so that we no longer need to use the user guide. So what we can do now is we can actually install a web browser package that will allow us to just launch an exploit host or a web browser directly from the home menu instead of having to go through the user guide, which will make things a lot easier in future. So if we go back into the settings, we now have access to this debug settings option once you run the jailbreak and we're going to use this to install our web browser package. So we're going to switch on over to our computer here. Okay, so switching over to our computer now, what we need is to download a couple of things. We want the homebrew store and items flow. These are homebrew applications which will unlock a bunch of additional functionality on the PS5. Definitely recommended. So to grab those packages, we can head to pkg-zone.com and download the homebrew store right here. So download homebrew store and select PS5. And you can also download items flow from here. Click it, scroll down and download the PS5 version. Download links for this will be in the description, of course. You also want to download the exploithost.zip file, which will be a media fire link probably or a send space link. Just download that from the link in the description. If you open this up, you will find a bunch of web browser packages that you can use that will either launch a specific exploit host that you can use or there's a full like internet browser one that will let you go to any website you want. So I'm going to use the idle sauce package here and the internet browser no cache version. So what we want to do is copy those to a USB. So I've got a USB drive right here. Right click on the USB, go to properties, just make sure it's either in XFAT or FAT32 format so that the PS5 will recognize it. If you go into that USB drive, we want to extract those packages to the root of the USB and also copy our homebrew store and items flow packages to the root of the USB. And you can also copy any other packages that you want to install. If you have any PS4 games, for example, like I've got Minecraft here, a PS4 package. I can also put that on there if I want to install that. And then you can eject the USB and plug it back into the PS5. So back on the PS5, we're going to go back into settings, scroll down to the debug settings, select that option and go to game and then click OK to that message and go to package installer. And then all of the package files that are on the USB drive should show up in here. So we can just hit the button to install all of them and that will go through and install everything. So we've got our idle sauce host, our internet browser, items flow homebrew application, our PS4 game, any other packages that you have on there. 
and uh, our homebrew store of course as well get all of those installed and there we go so that's all done we can head back to our home menu and we can see that we now have all of those things now installed so you basically have the jailbreak up and running now we can launch minecraft so we just installed a ps4 game directly onto our ps5 and it is working with the jailbreak so that is all good so let's go ahead and close out of that now and of course we also have access to our internet browser shortcuts here as well so if i go to the idle sauce one this will take us straight to the website that we used to run the jailbreak so we no longer need to use the user guide to access this page anymore we can just access it straight from there we've also got the internet browser shortcut here as well that will take us straight to an internet browser that we can use to go to any website we want from here so that's all done Another interesting thing with the idle sauce host, you can see here it says cache is up to date. So it actually caches the whole website for offline use. So it caches it in the browser so you can use it offline. So that means that you can go over to the settings, go to the network settings and go to settings and uncheck the box to connect to the internet now. And the web page should still work. So if we wait for that message to disappear and if we launch the idle sauce host again, you can see we can still access this website. It says you're offline because this is a offline cached version of the site. So we can use the jailbreak completely offline now and that's a good way to prevent accidentally installing any system updates because when you reboot the PS5, you'll no longer be running the jailbreak and then your system is vulnerable to being updated. So obviously we took the precautions before about stopping automatic downloads and everything, which should prevent it, but overall, Turning off the internet is the best way to prevent system updates indefinitely. So you'll still be able to use the jailbreak completely offline. Now, if you do choose the option to go completely offline, you are missing out on some network features that the jailbreak can take advantage of for cheats and trainers and for accessing the storage over FTP. That cannot be done when you're completely offline. So another option to block system updates instead of going completely offline is to use a custom DNS. So if we go back to the network settings, go to settings, connect to the internet again, and then set up an internet connection. Uh, again, we'll have to wait for this message for PS5 debug to disappear. There we go. We can press the options button on our registered network and then go to advanced settings. And then we can go to DNS settings and change it from automatic to manual. And here you can enter one of these two IP addresses as your primary DNS. So 165.227.83.145, or you can use 192.241.221.79. Now, either one of these two IP addresses here as your primary or secondary DNS, it doesn't matter which order they're in, which one's primary, which one's secondary, as long as you have one of those two IP addresses as your primary DNS. And if you click OK, and it's still able to get connected up to the network, as you can see here, it still says it's successfully connected. As long as that happens, then the DNS is up and running. Now, some internet service providers actually block those custom DNS addresses. It'll stop them from working. So if you're not able to get connected with the DNS addresses on there, you may have to switch it back to automatic or just go with the offline cache method in order to block updates. But that's essentially what we can do there. And at least if you can get the DNS method working, you'll be able to use network features, but you still won't be able to access websites because there's no DNS forwarding right now with the DNS, which means that things like the homebrew store will not work and accessing any website will not work, but you should still be able to access any of the exploit hosts that you've cached in the browser because it will just load from the offline cache. So that is pretty much it. So if we reboot the PS5, just to show you what happens when we reboot. So we'll restart the PS5 here. Okay, so I've rebooted the PS5 here. Now you'll still be able to use things like the idle sauce host. That should open just fine, even though we're rebooting. But games that you've installed and homebrew applications like items flow, that will not launch as you can see there. And if I try say Minecraft, it says cannot use this content. So this is what happens when you reboot the PS5 because unfortunately this is a tethered jailbreak, which means it only works while you're running the console. As soon as you reboot the console, the jailbreak is no longer applied. So you need to go back on the web browser and run it every single time you reboot the PS5. You can use rest mode instead of turning the PS5 off. You can put it into rest mode and then recover from rest mode and the jailbreak will still be running. That's one option. 
However, if you're going to be turning the console off and turning it back on, you are going to have to rerun the jailbreak again. So we just go back on the idle sauce host and run the jailbreak. And then from here, we can run the ETA hen payload again. So we'll select that option. And there we go. It's up and running. And I've got the alleys of DNS applied right now. So I still have a network connection, but updates were being blocked. So we should be good. And there we go. So now that I've run the jailbreak again, it only took a few seconds. I can now rerun my applications that I've installed, like my PS4 games, as well as my homebrew applications like Items Flow, which is used to run my PS5 game backups. For example, I've got a PS5 game backup right here, Back for Blood. So to run that one, I can go on to Items Flow, which is what we need to use right now to run our PS5 game backups. And then with items flow here, I can select my backup of Back for Blood and load that. Takes a little bit longer to launch with these, but give it a few seconds and you can see it's now starting to load the game. So yeah, there we go. That is how you get the jailbreak for the PS5 fully set up. If you want to be able to run your PS4 game backups or your PS5 game backups or any of that kind of stuff, if you want to learn how to do that or create your own game backups of your physical media, then I've covered that already on the channel. If you want to know how to set up cheats and trainers so you can apply cheats to your PS4 or PS5 games with the jailbreak, that's covered already. I've got a tutorial for that. So that's all included in the playlist link in the description. So check out the other tutorials in the series so that you can make the most out of this jailbreak. So anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Check out the other videos in the playlist and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.